I had to spray my mic down, man. Why? Because uh, one of the producers come in and keep using my mic. I told him to go, don't use my mic no more, man. Y'all not six feet away from each other. Ain't no social distancing going on in here, baby. I told him no. You, got, you, you know, know, I heard at other stations, they, they have everybody in different studios. I heard other people not even in, in the studio. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. They separated the studios. <laughs> there's a lot of people not even in. But uh, Let me walk down the hall and see what Elvis Duran and them doing. I'm going to go peek through the glass. But, you know, up here, Charlamagne, if you got it, I got it. If I got it, you got it. We've been sharing it. See, you play too much, man. We've been sharing things. What, what are we talking about in these rumors? What's wrong with you? We'll uh, talk about Donovan Mitchell, blushing? NBA player. Let's go. <laughs> he was on Good Morning America. This is the Rumor Report with God. Angela Yee. Let's go so far, man. <laughs> on the Breakfast Club. Listen up. Nah, 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 nah. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there were some rumors that things were pretty tense in the locker room between Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell. And that is because Rudy Gobert did not take this coronavirus seriously at first. And then Utah Jazz player Donovan Mitchell ended up contracting coronavirus. Well, he did an interview with Good Morning America. Here's what Donovan said. To be honest with you, Robin, you know, it took a while, you know, for me to kind of cool off, you know, and I, I, I read what he said and I heard what he said. So, you know, I'm glad he's doing okay. I'm glad I'm I'm doing well. Um, I'm just really happy to be honest, Robin. That it's just, you know, I hate to say there's two of us, but like it wasn't the whole party. You know, at the end of the day, neither him or I have have children at home. So that's basically like they were doing germ warfare, basically. Yeah, he did. Right? He just didn't know. Yeah, he didn't know. Spreading it around. Right. They said it was very careless behavior. He was touching everything in the locker room and microphones and all of that. Uh, now, Donovan Mitchell also told Good Morning America, you know, just some more positive things about what's going on. Right now, I'm in a partner. Uh, I'm working on a partnership with the Salt Lake City Granite School District. Um, that's about 88 to 90 schools, about 66,000 kids. Just being able to provide them meals, you know, and the, that particular school district in Salt Lake City is um, is home to some of the most vulnerable children in Salt Lake. Right. Uh, so I want to be able to just to give back. All right, so that's what's happening now. Uh, now let's talk about WrestleMania. They are banning fans, and they will stream live from a training facility. So right now it was supposed to be in Tampa, but because of coronavirus, more than 70,000 people were expected to attend. So they have not pulled the plug, but one person says there's a chance it will still happen in some capacity. And according to reports, WrestleMania 36 will happen April 5th, but with no fans. They're actually going to be moving that to a training facility in Orlando. And so wrestling, is it the same without people watching without fans in the audience? None of these sports are the same yeah. without fans watch, watching in the audience. None of them. doesn't matter if it's wrestling, football, basketball, baseball. The fans, you know, we create the atmosphere. But, you know, there are a lot of people at home that have nothing to do. So if they can do that, a lot of people will be tuning in. It just won't be fans there, but you'll still be giving people entertainment. I don't even know. Then after that, another update came in and saying they're working on moving WrestleMania to June 7th at Madison Square Garden instead. So we don't know what's going to happen. It's still up in the air. March might just be a dub, bro. March is a dub. We might just have to, we might just have to erase March. And maybe April. Maybe April, too. And then when May comes, we make that March. And then we just catch right. up sometime in the future. <laughs> and you know what else there's an issue with right now? What's and this that? was one of the issues with WrestleMania with insurance policies, right? Because, you know, they're saying that a lot of these insurance companies are not trying to pay. And they actually have in the contracts for a lot of them, they're not responsible if there's a pandemic or something else that happens. So a lot of people want to cancel dates, but insurance companies are like, well, we don't have any obligation to pay you. Yeah. So now people are trying to actually postpone things so that they don't miss out completely on all the money that they spent promoting. Uh, yeah, I mean, you have to. I mean, nobody's ever seen anything like this before in their life, so there's no way in hell if somebody gave me an insurance policy and said, hey, sign this epidemic or pandemic thing, I'd be like, ah. Well, the reason why they did that, because after SARS and after MRSA, some of the companies um, excluded pandemics because of that. Mm. So that is something that is in some of these contracts in case somebody uh, has an issue or gets sick. Now, 21 Savage is nervous, and he thought that he might have coronavirus. He actually went live and said this. I've been breaking down my mother My symptoms, I've been feeling this Everybody told me I sound like coronavirus. So I say, okay, where could I, ha I have received this coronavirus from? So I go to think about my schedule. I'm like, okay, where I went. Okay, what up, what up? We went to the club the other night. So I'm like, ain't no way in hell I caught it in the club because I know it ain't just skipped over and just came straight to me. That, but other people in the club could have it. 
See, he doesn't. He's not. I mean, a lot of us aren't informed on it, but he's clearly not informed that some people don't have symptoms. I think it was a little. Uh, he went a little far because he was. Did you hear the whole thing? No. Yeah, we have he, some more. He's like this. Okay, play so I go to describing what I need when I'm feeling on the IV. I'm, I'm just describing regular like. I feel like I got a sinus cold, so that's what I'm describing. Like, and I come to the conclusion like it don't matter what I describe. If I describe anything during these times, it's automatically oh he got coronavirus. Yeah, because a lot of the symptoms are like the same symptoms as the flu. This is a bad time. If you got allergies, if you got the flu, sneezing and coughing is like gunshots, bro, at this point. You sneeze and cough in public right now, people are ducking. They just gonna I'm not going to lie. Going. Yesterday, I was feeling really tired. I was looking up all the symptoms like, oh, my God, do I have? But then I just took a nap. Let me, yeah. let me tell you something. Yeah. And you remember that you get up 4 o'clock in the morning every goddamn day. <laughs> I was, uh, But I was extremely tired, and I was like, oh, my God, I hope nothing's wrong. Every four hours, I take my temperature when I'm at home. I take my temperature. I take the kids' temperature. My wife was like, what's wrong with you? But every four hours, and yesterday, there was a, it was it had like a little a problem, and my, my, my temperature came out 99.9, 99. I was like, I got it. My wife was like, no, do it again, dumbass. So when you stick to the Where do you put the thermometer? Yeah, when yeah. you stick it up your butt. I know he puts it up his butt. When you stick it up your butt, do you mm-hmm. lube it up first? Or like, do you have somebody do it for you, or you do it yourself? Actually, I have the thermometer that the doctors have. You just rub it against your forehead, and it, it, oh, that's tells, you, it tells you what it is. That's boring. You, you what, home quarantined? What, what, what story you want? Huh? What, what story would you like to hear? <laughs> you know the story. <laughs> the, let me tell you. You're home quarantined, bro. Wait, 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 come what on, story you come hear? on. You're home quarantined. Come on. <laughs> but I tell you what, I have been. I have been. Life. <laughs> I have been taking all kinds of extra vitamin C's and eating a me whole too. lot of fruit, making my own smoothies and everything, just to make sure that I'm good. Take vitamin so, D too, ye. Just Ooh, oh, no fruit. problem. <laughs> but just also, man. just it's also making sun, sure man, for people with the, well, yeah, there's not a lot of sun out here, but uh, also just making sure you keep your immunity your immunity up, just for everybody out there. Just not just only washing your hands. Of course, you should do that too. But also make sure that you're eating all those fruits and vegetables, wheatgrass shots, ginger shots, whatever it is that you need. A lot mm-hmm. of grapefruit, a lot of oranges, watermelons, all of those things, so you can stay strong right now. That's right. All right. Now, Drake has broken the record for the most Billboard Hot 100 entries ever. He just got his 208th appearance thanks to the Oprah's Bank Account song because he's on that song also. So he has now broken that record. Congratulations to Drake. 208 total Hot 100 entries in the history of the Hot 100. That started back in 1958. Mm. So now he's broken that record. All right, drop on the clues, Monster Drake. Whenever I hear records like that, I often got to think to myself, yeah, you know, because of screaming, but a record is a record. A record right? is a record. It's yeah. not. It's not these kids' fault that you know things are calculated different now. It's not their fault. You, you know whose record he broke that had 207 hot 100 entries? Probably Stevie Wonder, or Prince, or Madonna, or somebody super legendary. Who? It was the Glee cast. <laughs> oh no, I don't cast of the Glee. Right. I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember no goddamn Glee cast. I know they popping, but what well, he was popping. All right. Well, I'm Angela. Mm-hmm. Well, the thing well that was just... back in 2013. Yeah, it was a point where they were popping. I wasn't into the Glee. Me neither. Well, you guys have time if you want to catch up. No, nah, I'm on Harry Potter right now. <laughs> All right, I'm you Angela late. Yee, and that is your rumor report. 